What's up guys? This is Jagged Mountain Knives. Welcome back to part two. Um, this will be the second part of making the knife for Matt's off-road recovery. So let's get started. Right now we're just going to start profiling it and cleaning it up. Alright, so we've got the back and everything profiled how we want it. So what we're going to do is change the setup on this grinder so I can kind of get in there and clean up the inside of this handle. Okay guys, so what we've got going on now is I've got it in the vise and we've kind of made it into a Scandi grind. For some reason I really like Scandi grinds. I think they look awesome because you get a nice looking knife but you also get the forge marks on it which I think is important because then it lets people know that it was hand forged. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the angle grinder right there with the sanding disc on it and we're just going to use that to do kind of the final uh, cleanup for this Scandi grind and to get the edge down to the right thickness. Right now it's still kind of thick. I doubt you can see that. But that's what we're going to be doing next. So we'll get to it. Alright, so we've got the Scandi grind in, the edge is the right thickness, so the next thing to do is to sand or to grind the tang flat so we can get ready for a handle. And then we'll probably hand sand the blade a little bit, bring it up to a higher grip than 120. So it should look pretty sweet, let's get to it. guys right now we're just gonna start hand sanding it bring it up to 220 and then we'll leave it at that that'll be the finish we'll wire brush the back scale and then we'll get ready to put a handle on it okay so right now we're gonna soften the tang blew it all up so that way we can drill some holes in it and get ready for the handle. Alrighty, we'll let that cool down and get drilling. Okay, right now we've got the place where we're gonna drill the holes mark, so we're gonna go ahead and center punch it. That one did good. That one's good. Last one. All right, let's go ahead and drill the holes. All right guys, so we're back working on the knife for Matt's off-road recovery. So what we're gonna do on the handle is I've got this yellow paper spacer and I've got this red oak that's been treated. I don't know exactly how they do it, but basically they kind of burn it to make it darker, but it's just red oak. So we're gonna be doing a, a spacer on either side of the handle. So there'll be a yellow spacer right there. It's just gonna sit like that. 
And the yellow is for Matt's yellow Jeep Cherokee that he uses to tow people out of sketchy situations. So that's what we'll be doing next. Right now we're just drilling the holes in these little spacers. So stick the pin in there to line it up so we're hitting it exactly where we need to. check out the merch we got grind the grind masters of metal we got all sorts of cool stuff on teespring so make sure you go look at that
Alrighty guys, it's the next day, so we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the clamps. And we're gonna start grinding it here in a minute. Just make sure we don't have any spots that we need to fill in with a little more epoxy. Sometimes it sinks in farther than you think it will, and you have to get more epoxy in there, so we're just gonna check. Okay. I don't see anything on the spine or on the back that's concerning, so we'll probably go right ahead into grinding. Alright, we brought it up to 220. Okay, so now we've got the handle uh, up to 220 on the grinder, so what we're gonna do is take this 220 hand sandpaper and just clean up a couple little spots that are kinda hard to get on the grinder. And that's what we'll start doing right now. Okay, now we're just gonna put tongue oil on the handle to finish it up and we'll sharpen it. Then we're gonna be all done. Just kinda gotta get it all over. Looks pretty good. So we wipe off the excess. Then we'll just kinda make it, let it sit here and dry for a second and we'll sharpen it. I think that looks pretty good. All right guys, the last step is sharpening. So we got a 320 grit belt on, we'll sharpen it on this and we'll take it over the buffing wheel. Alrighty, now we're just gonna do it on the bench grinder and we'll be done. Let's go give it a sharpness test. All right, here's the sharpness test. Looks pretty good. Okay guys, the knife's done. We're gonna go ship it off to Matt once I make a sheath for it. Looks really cool. I like how there's the yellow spacers for his Jeep Cherokee. Um, make sure to go check out some of our other videos, check out Keyspring, and leave a comment if you like it. Thank you. Thank you.